So here we are in the 1956 Pleasure Craft again, uh, standing at the doorway, looking left back towards the dinette in the rear. Uh, gas lamp on the wall, we have electrical fixtures here. Uh, this is the feature that really sold us on this. When we saw this photo in the ad for this trailer, we fell in love with that little support beam and nooks. Uh, we've uh, taken the liberty of putting uh, 1950s uh, tiki items in there, which will fall in with the theme of the trailer as we work on it. Uh, this is uh, the back of the dinette. Sorry, there's a bunch of junk back there. Uh, that I moved out of the area to take this. Nice rounded corners. Uh, wood in pretty good shape. A few cracks and missing bits, but mostly good. The original Marvell refrigerator. Uh, not working at the moment, but we're trying to do some troubleshooting and figure out why. It is missing the bottom curved cover for the compressor. They had a piece of plastic screwed on there to cover that up. Um, not sure what we're going to do about that, but uh, we want to see if it's fixable first and then we'll work on what to do about the cover. Uh, lots of nice counter space here. There's some bits and pieces here, a little piece of a window that needs some repair to make it work properly. A little night lamp. Uh, these are little pieces of uh, plastic from inside the refrigerator. This is a seam seal between the uh, inside box and the front frame of the refrigerator. Literally just touched it to see how pliant it was and it just crumbled. So I'm not going to be touching that until I figure out what to do about that seal again. But again, large counter space on top. I'm not sure if these electrical outlets are original or not. Uh, there have been three or four of them around the place. And back here you can see it necks in by the refrigerator. Tons of storage in this place. Uh, nice big uh, shelf space there at the head of the bed. Now this is a sofa bed. You can see the panel off the front of the refrigerator there. I'll move that in a moment and show you how this works. But there should be cushions here. A uh, seat cushion and a back cushion. Uh, obviously these drapes are way too long, but again we're going to remake all of these and uh, do them in the proper length so they function properly in the space. And you just move a couple things here. So this piece sits in there like that. and then. Pulls out to form a bed. Now when we purchased this, uh, this space was just filled with a permanent mattress. That is not how it originally was and uh, we believe this slide out piece, the plywood and the front piece are remanufactured by whoever did some of the original work on it. Uh, we believe the table, the uh, chair legs are original, uh, but this whole thing is a little bit, uh, not too bad, but a little flimsy. I have to admit I'm a big guy and uh, it puts some stresses on this thin wood, so probably going to redo this with a thicker piece of wood, uh, plywood, and maybe dovetail it into a new front piece, since that's not original anyway, give it some strength. So a nice big side window, the bottom louver, bottom louver's uh, mechanism has been kind of broken and, and worn, so we're looking to do some repair on that. And only about half of the windows have screens in them, so we'll be doing some screens uh, for everything. There are lamps, wall lamps in the back, run off electrical. One on either side of the sofa bed. I think that's all I can usefully show you at the moment. Oh, uh, some nice cabinets up top here. Uh, you can see good storage. And there's also a chunk of storage here 
next to a nice wide bit underneath and slides back pretty far back in there. And of course there's under seat storage that you can get at. Using these doors, uh, that's also accessible from the side panel outside. Uh, we're using that to store our ground mats that are rolled up and shoved in from the side. So effectively not much use from the inside for us, but it's nice to know you can if you want. This flooring, this is just vinyl wood plank flooring. It was put down on top of this tiling. And uh, I love this tiling. I'm not sure what anything looks like underneath here, but I'm guessing it must have been in some kind of bad shape for them to want to put this stuff in instead. So we'll have to see. Eventually we'll pull this floor up and take a look and see if we can salvage it or if we have to redo it. But this vinyl builds things up too thickly. So uh, can't really get the refrigerator out if we need to right now without peeling the floor up or taking the countertop off completely. Neither of which is particularly desirable and beyond present scope project. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy this. Hope this is helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to throw them in there.